Pourquoi 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 Pourquoi
This will be my rhythm for the day. Beating on the chest is the best way to internalize a beat because you feel the impact throughout your whole body. If I keep this up long enough, my heart might take the same tempo, like how a room full of pendulums eventually decide somehow on a unanimous rhythm. Once you start walking, it gets harder. This beat is too fast to walk to. The trick is to find a footstep tempo that's expressible in a simple mathematical ratio to the main tempo. Like now, I've got a three against four going on. The lower the common denominator, the easier. The lowest common denominator of three and four is 12, so a cycle's only 12 beats long, not too hard to keep track of. Four groups of three, three groups of four. Pass the goddamn butter, pass the goddamn butter, pass the goddamn butter. That's a mnemonic device for learning the three against four polyrhythm. I found it useful for about a week, then I got the hang of it and I didn't need that mnemonic anymore. But the thing that troubles me is, and this is the point, now I can't hear a three against four rhythm without thinking, pass the goddamn butter, pass the goddamn butter. And really, that mnemonic phrase is a lie. It condenses the two rhythms into one. It doesn't allow for their separate existence. It robs them of their original meaning. I wonder sometimes whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe they should be perceived together. I mean, there's all of these rhythms that you have to cope with. And if you were aware of all of them individually and simultaneously, you'd either be God or you'd go insane, or maybe both. And maybe there's an all-encompassing ratio, the greatest, lowest common denominator of them all. Maybe if you put all of these rhythms together, you'd get the universal meter, and there might be some magical mnemonic sentence that sums that one up too. Some incredibly long or incredibly short phrase in a language no one has ever heard that would encompass the rhythmic totality. I think about this kind of thing a lot. I'm not entirely convinced of its usefulness. But I always end up there. For example, every time I see Jar Jar Binks, that makes me think of Liam Neeson, whom I always confuse with Ray Fiennes. Ray Fiennes was in the end of the affair, which makes me think of Graham Greene, and then Catholicism, and then hell which, for various reasons, I associate with loops and rhythmic infinity. And I know there's an infinite number of thoughts to think, but the paths they lead me down are very few. And they all lead to the same place. Whenever I go to visit my friend Jeff, who lives at Bathurst in Eglinton, I take the Bathurst bus. 
And now, every time I take that bus, I think about the time I got the idea to make this video, right about here. And then I think about how I had just seen Fight Club for the second time the night before that. And for some reason, I thought of how this voiceover would sound, and it doesn't feel like it was really my idea. I had the rhythm and the timbre of Ed Norton's monologue swirling around whichever mental whirlpool I was stuck in that day on the Bathurst bus. Sometimes I wonder about all the movies I watch. Each one of them has its own beat, which of course gets multiplied or amplified on repeated viewing. So I wonder what the combined polyrhythm of all these movies looks and sounds like, and what it means. The meter of the movies is more distinct than the rhythm of real life. It's easier to pick out the sub-rhythms and trace the counter-melodies in the movies. There's one counter-melody that I keep hearing that's stuck in my head, and not surprisingly, it's about rhythm, or more specifically, about rhythm's visual correlative, which is order. The movies sing me this song about order, and what it looks like, and how it feels. Order looks like boxes, and circles, and geometric patterns, and repetition, and synchronization, and uniformity. Order feels seductive, and aesthetic, and perfect, and it equals despair. This song the movies keep singing to me is all about how sameness is the enemy of the soul. And ever since we learned about quantum mechanics, it seems the movies want to inspect this sameness at the subatomic level, to reduce all experience to a series of neural firings and electrical impulses. All this, too, is seductive, aesthetic, perfect despair. And you can't argue with it. But I don't buy it. Or, more accurately, I don't find it very useful. Nevertheless, a lot of movies use it as their argument's fundamental premise, by which I mean their opening credits. I think I know what my opening credit sequence was. It happened in the autumn of 1997, when I took two halls off a joint and suddenly found myself living here, in total amnesia, for about a half hour. I worry a lot that this will be my closing credit sequence, too. If my life's argument has a conclusion, by which I mean closing credits, I hope they're not my life flashing before my eyes. I mean, Woody Allen has already done that. And for that matter, so has Robert Altman. Movie has been and everybody knows they got it from Bergman. It would be nice if my end credits were to show me how I could have lived outside this steady, pounding monologue that I hold on to and hate and love so much. If they were to provide a final escape from determinism and dissatisfaction, loops and language. You have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure. But maybe I just want that because that's what Lester Burnham got and it looked so pretty. Damn. The movies do have a lot of ideas about how to escape. How to save your inner individual from the onslaught of sameness. And you get the impression that, for some reason, escape might involve poor performance at work, which often means smoking at work. And if professional apathy doesn't do it for you, you can just start breaking the things you can't change. Inanimate objects make good scapegoats because they don't fight back. And I'm not totally clear on what you're supposed to do once you've broken everything. But I think there's something to do with trying to fuck a girl who's one third of your age. Which for me is difficult, not to mention illegal. I don't know. Maybe when I'm older. The movies don't really provide an escape, they just provide another beat to drown out all the regular noise. Which, I guess, is all I'm trying to do here. I apologize. But I don't know that this video could have turned out any way other than it did, or if it's just the intersection of all the little loops in my head, which began spinning either when I was born in 1976, or when I was born in 1997. I don't claim to be some Pavlovian victim of the universal conditioning machine, or even the cinematic conditioning machine, but pendulums synchronize their swings, bodies internalize rhythms. If I could shut up, believe me, I would. Maybe. All I can do is lay down a beat and say, this is mine and I don't care where it came from. 
but this might not have been the most useful idea either. Once you get going, it's hard to stop. Jesus, how much longer is this gonna go on? Do you know that if it wasn't for persistence of vision, we wouldn't even be able to watch movies? In other words, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Do it. Whatever he tells you to do, he means it. And he's more intelligent than we are. He's more sensible. And he sees all of our tomorrows. And he knows what's best always. He knows what's best. He knows what's best. I got a gas can in the fucking leg. He knows what's best. There is an ancient myth of what may have been the most highly advanced civilization ever to dwell on the planet Earth. Do we have a sexy crew tonight? I don't check anymore. Yet, how fragile do we now find ourselves before the juggernaut of our own inventions? I don't want to think about it. Cars. Conspicuous consumption has become the driving force behind development. We know what we want. Transportation. My worst of has come true. Once our Earth seemed huge. But now that we can travel so fast, it begins to seem small. Industry. I know I'm dependent on technology, but it extends my power. Traffic. Lost my job to a robot. Having some cash might be a good idea. No, never! Keep working, keep working hard. Communications. People, 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 we will win at last. Here he comes. Yes. Count your feet, folks. Goodbye. And I want to show you some tape. Suddenly a phenomenon took place. We are being hijacked. We're being hijacked. No, no. You can't do this to me. Incredible. 
child thinks it's the greatest story of destruction the world has ever known. No! No, anything but this! We will land on this town and explain to the people that we are their rulers in this place. What's that noise? Sounded like our own hometown being ripped out of the ground. What's happening? We seem to have lost that cell phone connection. We'll uh, hook it back up in a moment. You don't suppose it could have been... What makes you think you'll conquer us without a fight? This nut may prove dangerous. Natalie, what can you tell us? Hello, Natalie Clancy. Oh, we've... Natalie, Jim. Just um, a sec. Have we I got you now, Natalie? I'm just not clear if I'm even on the line with them. Well, we're obviously uh, having a little trouble hooking up with Natalie. This looks like a job for... Plastic Man! Plastic Man! Plastic Man! Have you ever walked into your family room and been shocked to see what your children were watching on TV? The officials have to say, I don't know. The officials have to say, I can't confirm or deny that right now. The officials have to say, I don't have that... Sp specific information. It could well be that there's enough state of confusion. They expect to terrify us with a display of power. And why Washington? They appear to be realists, and Washington is one of the centers of political power. The contemptuous of our defenses. I'm scared of this. They'll... They'll dig us out. Silent. And it happened. It happened. Kill them. Kill them. David, I don't know. You know, stop me if you don't, if you don't agree. But it does seem remarkable to me that nobody have, at any level has stepped forward uh, to say anything yet. We can't hear David. If we can open David's mic there. There are not a lot of people around because they're all uh, like everybody watching television. It sounds like a movie. It sounds like a novel. It sounds like a movie. It sounds like a novel. It sounds like a movie. It sounds like a novel. It sounds like a movie. It sounds like a novel. It sounds like a movie. All right. Tell everyone that everything is going to be all right. I don't want to overstate this, but it's at times like this uh, when a certain calming uh, is needed. This looks like a job for Plastic Man! Uh, I think we've got the tape rewound. Plastic Man! U.S. President. Plastic Man! Let's uh, listen in. A technical problem. He's a real good guy in a bright red suit. Here we go. And he always wears goggles and a belt. That's a beautiful. That was not live. He was a crook, but he reformed and then... U.S. He President, now we're still having trouble. The sound may be a little man. difficult. The now, let's try this again now. Elastic man, always in great shape. For the shape he's in, the fantastic plastic man. The president of the United States. Plastic man. In a bunker in Omaha. Plastic man. Um, why, God? Why, God, why? One change that really scares me is having someone I love die. It's just almost too hard to comprehend. Oh, oh, oh. The president's wife said to appeal to all parents uh, across the country to reassure their children that they were safe. Well, I don't think that reassurance uh, will have uh, a huge effect right now. Why, God, why, God, why? 
Uh, I can do the breather. No doubt. But let me remind you what an old Chinese philosopher once said. May you live in interesting times. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Help guide us on what we should be thinking. The uniform that we are wearing, wow. we're supposed to, you know, it's, it's natural to feel proud of the uh, uniform. Wow. You lose a bit of individuality as such, wow. but um, I, I don't seem to mind. You believe whatever he tells you. We're supposed to, you know, it's natural. We're too dumb to push It's six weeks of a creature. They make you feel like, like dirt. You just go when he says to go, and you don't even think twice. You just do it. He's the one who has the final say, you know. Perhaps including the use of a tactical nuclear weapon. The Americans are incapable of using weapons of mass destruction on a civilian target. Um, let's rewind the clock a bit. Pay close attention for the next few minutes. September 11th, 2001. A day like no other. It's just like Pearl Harbor. A reference, of course, to the Japanese attack that brought the U.S. into the Second World War. There is no comparison to this. Now, you mentioned the, uh, the Pearl Harbor comparison. I can now understand how Pearl Harbor oh, fell apart. That's what it is, just like Pearl Harbor. These pictures, uh, no, nothing at all. They've never seen anything like today's story. This is a story unlike any that we've seen in our world. All out war. That's what it is. Just like Pearl Harbor. This looks like a job for Plastic Man. He took on the fashion of a man. Plastic Man. It had to be the human way. Plastic Man. We don't know where he's going. Plastic Man. They're keeping him on the move. I just hope that while we're waiting, another disaster doesn't occur. Plastic Man! Somehow this isn't presidential. Plastic Man! And all this, thanks to oil. Plastic Man! You sound like a greed monster. Plastic Man! Motivated by profit. Plastic Man! Plastic Man! Revolutions can start from the top. Plastic Man! I only know what's the best thing for you. Your kids will love seeing vegetables come to life. Plastic Man! I've seen this movie. Plastic Man! Fuck Bush, fuck Bush, fuck Bush. Plastic Man! He's a politician. Plastic Man! Four years is a long way away. I believe that together we can defeat these forces of evil. Liquidation of Yasser Arafat. They're fussing over the land, fussing over the land. We're used to these things. Uh, in we here in Israel have been standing and fighting at the front line against terrorism for Even years. With bulldozers, it takes some time to demolish a hundred villages. And America is regarded as being the sponsor of Israel. We're going to take you through a 180 degree turn. Where does it begin? Now pull your eyebrows down and together. Why is it so dark in my home? Why, 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 why? Because you're turning the light out. Rage conveys something that's intense and uncontained. Fury is destructive. Wrath implies a reaction that'll end in revenge or punishment. But anger is also learned. That's my dad. The same method, the same power, the same everything. If you're always afraid that somebody's going to take you down from the pedestal. And the most important step in controlling anger is to recognize what caused it before you take it out on someone else. Our children die of disease mines and poison gas and the women are raped and killed in afghanistan the word islam synonymous with atrocity in the western mind the american rule of law will prevail we can change one atomic element into another oh! all this churn has given me a headache people sit around and we make the best decision on what's the best way to resolve take shelter Sometimes it takes a crisis to force us to change. The American public is going to have to get used to a very different kind of America. I have the distinct feeling that we're going to be jobbed. Maybe we're not doing enough to, to protect ourselves. No room in the end. And that requires a much different solution than simply uh, putting higher walls up and bigger fences. That's part of it. And I have come to bring you the passport. But you have to do what my father wants you to do, or you can't go. Public opinion in the United States is going to demand something more than a peaceful resolution in all this. 
there's your information explosion. This is war. An adventure with monsters and the treasure or two. He didn't consult with anybody. We're being hijacked. Stop this killing. You talk peace and disarmament to the world. And here you are, wiping out a race of people. Guns, guns, all kinds of guns. Money, money, money! Some people will die. There are explosions at this hour in Kabul, Afghanistan. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, isn't that great? Uh, we already had our Vietnam. Yet nobody sees anything in the papers. The person who's unwilling to be flexible and adapt to change may die soon. Some of you couldn't keep your mouth shut. You knew you had to be shot, it seems. <laughs> you just felt shut up because you're not going to out talk him. And he's still saying, whatever I tell you, do, do it. Whatever I tell you to do, do it. Just do it. That's all you have to do. And he gives you simple instructions at that. We're not that wise, are we? Yeah, here they come. Hey, look out, jump It's the Justice League. The Justice League. The superheroes all always on the ball. It's the Justice League. The Justice League. When they get the call, watch them go. The Justice League. Yeah, the Justice League. Hold oh, the Justice League. Yeah, the Justice League. Hold the Justice League Yeah, the Justice League Hold the Justice League Yeah, the Justice League Hold the Justice League Yeah, the Justice League Hold the Justice League You've got to do what he tells you to do. But even as they did so, the military wondered whether their scientific know-how and their best weapons could be effective. Thank you all my family. I want to fight. Self-examination loosens our unity as a people. Do not it's consult mild. the people. You do not involve the people. Hey, the public doesn't have to know. I want to be an airborne ranger. I want to be an airborne ranger. I want to live the life of danger. I want to live the life of danger. I want to go to Iran. I want to go to Iran. I want to kill an Iranian. I want to kill an Iranian. Blood. Blood. population is complete. 
compelled to provide a subsidy to high technology industry. Since they're not going to do it if you ask them to, you have to deceive them into doing it. There are many truths like that, you know, we don't, we don't face them. But some of these effects are the first signs of the body fighting back. The body has the remarkable ability to recognize and immobilize any microbe that gets into the bloodstream or the tissues from outside. Absolutely. And at the same time, it's becoming a much more of a surveillance and control state in terms of the way that it, uh, that it intervenes in, knows about, pries into individual lives. First you lose your memory about becoming violent, now you lose your memory about your threats. You know what Thorazine does to you? Makes you walk like a mummy. Sound like Frankenstein. I'd never realized that there were those who would lie to maintain their positions of power. Then I saw it. I'm not sure, I don't think people were evil to lie, but they did it. They, they altered the way things were to maintain their positions of power and authority, and they did it in a way that was wrong. And when I saw that, then I saw that everywhere. These violent activities immobilize the invader as quickly as possible. And the result of that is that we're going to be in a continually escalating series of domestic, uh, let alone international, but domestic crises. There are a small number of individuals, I regret to say, who are interested in fomenting a crisis merely for the sake of crisis. If we try to deal with our political problems as uh, crisis by crisis, uh, in the fly a bucket brigade manner, we're always going to be behind what pilots call the power curve. You have to know that the power is there, and then I think you have to see if you can possibly uh, live without it. You know, live without doing that. That doesn't mean you, you never get in, into a situation where a lie might be necessary. But on the whole, how can you try to lead your life so that you communicate with other people without trying to manipulate them? The distressing task is to pretend that the protest and outrage of each new generation is really fresh and meaningful. In fact, it is one of the most predictable controversies that we know. The participants go through a ritual of hackneyed complaints, almost as ancient as academe, while believing that what is said is radical and new. What's fascinating? City. A huge city. Well, Doctor, can you see anything? Any sign of life? No, 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 no sign of life. No, just buildings. Magnificent buildings. I. Oh, let I, me have a look. What do you think, Doctor? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it was, destroyed the vegetation here, certainly hadn't damaged the city. We have to create a sort of technocratic, uh, corporatist, tripartite, lay big, big government, big labor, big corporations getting together to plan the future for the rest of us. And where the raw materials? But we're a bunch of raw materials that don't mean to be have any process upon us, don't mean to be made into any product, don't mean, don't mean to end up being bought by some clients of the universe. And yet we actually lead our lives, fending off a succession of attacks from many different directions. You have said that we live entangled in webs of endless deceit, that we live in a highly indoctrinated society where elementary truths are easily buried. <laughs> You have to cry, you come get me so I can cry with you. Because we're going to get through this together, and I swear right. to God, we're going to get through this together. Because I'm not going to make it through without anybody. You're not going to make it through without anybody, okay? Come on. You're going to make it. We're going to make it. We all are. We came in here to make a better life out of ourselves. We're going to do it. We really are. There's a kind of uh, tiredness, a kind of apathy about 
the system. And the involvement of the people diminish it. I, I was looking for truth. I was looking for, I was looking for meaning in my life. People were saying, join us, join us. Join us, join us, join us. Is the demonstration bothering you? No, I think it's kind of funny. All them bums running around doing nothing. Do we need a revolution? We have been invaded by people outside of, the, uh, outside of the state, outside of the cities. We have been invaded by militants. Uh, uh, this is where we're in a revolution. And the only thing, don't ever say we're going into a revolution. We're in a revolution. Now the question is, who's going to win it? At peace, we should train for a war. Everything else is bullshit. is to build a powerful peace block that can really have influence. I'd like to believe that people are going to be free, uh, but if you ask for proof, I couldn't give it to you. This system has one further benefit, a memory. Sleep well tonight. Your National Guard is awake. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, came under attack. America was targeted for attack because we're despicable, the very worst of human nature. Our country is evil. Our military is evil. Our financial institutions are evil. Our way of life, evil. Our first priority is mass murder. Our first priority is to get blood. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and the children whose worlds have been shattered on behalf of the American people. None of us will ever forget this day. Our country is collapsing. Good night.